pull it together. <coughs> Fuck. Okay, Mikey. Pull it together, my guy. The Santa. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor some bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Oh Sounds man. Just like my kind of party. Party in the warehouse. Party at the warehouse. We need a car. That sound, oh, that's disgusting. Sweet Jesus. Oh, that's disgusting. What the hell are you doing? I guess he found his car. Are you taking a dump? Oh, why do you care, huh? What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got Man, you gotta go, you gotta go. See a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know. Nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. You see his face that last time I popped it. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you, you I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Hmm. Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. The size up. Crazy. One of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men. That yeah, that size up. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston? Is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh, <laughs> than a tail catcher. Probably buys it. <laughs> I fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, where did we meet? Oh, yeah, here you go. Pal? Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard the way from me. No, oh, no, man. Right He's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. It's, it's hard to forget goals. a face, y'all. It's and very this, hard to forget a face. This is Trevor. No. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please. Please. Sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price. VIP. You know? This whoa, 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 what is this? The house. Hey man, just tell him what they need to know. <laughs> the man who owns it, he works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 oh no. man. Fucking nitwits at the agency, taking all the glory. Put yourself in an awkward right. position. You gotta be the do boy. I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, sorry, go no, for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. No. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. There's something for right now. Him right now, I'd be right under a microscope, an electron microscope of bureaucratic shit, and that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh well. Well, Trevor's on your tail, my guy. For you. you know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me, after you brought Trevor in on this. Exactly. Well, you brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family. Don't hit any more cars. Kills my Still. family or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. I. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Hmm. Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up... They said, uh, Trevor. Back there, Trevor made you right away. He did. The second he saw you, 
Do you remember after the bust? I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was yeah, yeah. a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. So Not now. Your the man that got Mikey. That could be anything, y'all. That can be like... <laughs> like, what's up? You got married, right? It's like the girl that tamed this man. Because when you get married, folks think you're, you know, you not living no more. That's that's just what people think. I don't know why, but that's just what people this think. Bullshit. This place, baby, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. Whoa, reality TV. Shit. You work. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Coffee. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Uh oh. Get the wrong address. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want. Ah, uh, man. Ah, uh, please. Look at me, please. Are Getting the information out of someone's like pulling teeth. Hey, this is taking that literally. That's taking that literally. Oh, that pop. Talk is to stop him being able to talk. That pop. Get someone to talk is like pulling teeth, my guy. Mr. Phillips, Get someone to open up here. and be honest with you is like pulling teeth. And that's, that's taking that sense literally, you know what I mean? Getting someone to open up and be honest with their feelings and emotions and tell you how they feel is exactly like this. Did you get that? Did you hear him? They like to hold their Listen, emotions inside, much. which makes them emotional. Shumash, you're driving. It's like being in a relationship Shumash. sometimes, trying to get a man to open up to you. Trying to get a, a lady to open up to you. It's like pulling teeth. <laughs> and then the ones that open up without the extra, they get taken advantage of. That's just how life works. That's just how life works. Let's go. Subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Dang, yeah. his homeboy really he gone. They're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave. Yeah, he was the one. He, he was the one they buried. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. That's crazy. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. Damn, boy. That boy Trev really, really messaging the feds. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Lil Nip Nip. Lil Nip Nip. Let's get that left one. Let's get that right one. He's done. I think he's getting a stiffy. Oh, man. Shocking. Now? Huh? Now? Come on, man. He can't really talk with missing teeth, can he? That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was like middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? It'd be racist if I shot the wrong one, right? I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. What the hell? That was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, we've got him. It's done. Wait, you sure? Ooh, that is a wrap, my friend. You sure? Excellent work. The I just guessed. He was down there doing a line, man. So, Trevor, so I had to line him up and take him out. What the fuck do you want me to do with him? I don't even know if that's the right guy. Shut up. That's a sport. Oh, Trevor, what are you doing? <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. 
Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get you get free, man. Take this man to the airport. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have Hey, man, I feel you on that. Family, that shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. That's your old life? Friend. You're one of the invisible people. One of the invisible people? Taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're gonna spread your message. He just got an Uber ride to the airport. Crazy. Ain't got no shirt on. <laughs> Nothing. You're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here. All right. And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. How he gonna get on the... But he just fell down the stairs. By the book. It's like a lot of things are happening around things, you know what I mean? And Trevor's one of them people where he wants to know what's going on, you know what I mean? So if they slip up too much, he's gonna figure out their whole operation. A lot of people don't, a lot of people really mind their own business and they don't really care to know about what's going on around them. They just care about what's going on near them. But Trevor, he's the one that wants to know what's going on. He wants to feel in control most of the time, so. You know, they, their little secret is probably not going to last that long. You got a lot of people, like I said, you got a lot of people in the world like Trevor. They don't like to have people have the upper hand on them. It's like, but what I figured out in the life world, why in the life world? <laughs> what, I figured out in the, what I figured out with my life, the more you make people feel like they have the upper hand, the less they truly understand. Because when they feel like they have an advantage over you, people miss details. And me personally I don't really care if people have the upper hand on me because it's not about upper hand it's about you still got to close the deal you still got to finish and a lot of people don't know how to finish they can have the lead like a lot of people can have to lead the whole game but that that fourth quarter that you know that money time that two minute warning time that's the time that people really fail they don't know how to, lots of people do not know how to close out things a lot of people don't know how to finish things properly or they finish sloppy you know what I mean so having an upper hand on people and having let you knowing something that they don't know means nothing until it's time to close because that's when all the cards get shown that's when all the cards get really shown still can get the sub You getting the cops, bro? <laughs> Don't get the cops. We're almost there. Met the right man on the pier. The union man hooking us up with storage and stuff. Bring us up, player. Appreciate that. You know, it's about who you know, man, and what you know can benefit them. It's, it's no, it's about what you know too, but, but who you know and what you know does it benefit them? Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and put that thing on that that bed, man. Lay it down. Lay it down on that bed. Oh, what are you doing? It's done. Let's go. Let's that is not covered at all. That is not covered at all. 
That is not secure, y'all. That's a half done job. If they were looking for a submarine, they will find it. They would definitely see it if they were looking for a submarine still. Is that sub covered properly? No, it's not. See? Yeah, he is. No, no, sir. I'm certainly not being short. Crappy job. He's not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew, he don't have the nerve. You got to be ready for the heat that comes with it. It'd be a lot of people. Turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and controlled and tricked me. You don't want to cut. Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace. Yo. He's too. He's too far. He's too. He's too in deep. Yeah, it is Deborah home, man. It is, it is Deborah's home. People that do bad things in life, a lot of people that do bad things in life, they don't have the nerve to do bad things. The pressure gets to them. That's how you can tell when people up the stuff. The pressure gets to them. They either avoid you all the way or what? You can see them stumbling and fumbling their words and sure they want to be short with you. Definitely got the merchandise. Oh, you're not gonna let me get the truck. Oh, he's just gonna leave me. <laughs> That's crazy. What's going on, my boy Franklin, man? Damn, you fine, baby. Franklin, you little swole, player. Swole, my guy. Man, as soon as I was about to do a mission, I got called by the borough. It's like, bro, we need you ASAP. <laughs> we need you. We need you face to face. Don't be late. All right, all right. We won't be late. I need you all at the lot at El Burro Heights for a face to face. Don't be late. All right, bro. All right, all right, all right. Let me make sure I put my helmet on so they don't say nothing. Let's do these. Let's do this. Ladies, the sub is in the position. So we got Trevor mission now. And we gotta deal with these bureau people. Let's go deal with these bureau. Let's go deal with the feds first, man. So we can do our dirty work after we handle their work. So they won't be on our tail. You handle the big fish first. And then we can do a little small stuff later. That's how, I, that's how I always do life stuff, man. You handle the big things first. You handle the major things in life first. And then you worry about the little fish. You know? Make sure you take care of that big deposit. That big investment first. And then you worry about the little fish. But I relate to Franklin a lot in this game, y'all. Like, everybody's not going to believe in you in life. They not. They just not. And in life, it really depends on how bad you want it. And, like, I'll say this as a guy. I don't want to say a man, but even a boy or a or man. No one's going to make your mind up for you. No one's going to give you anything, right? If you want that lady, if you want love, if you want that job, if you want that interview, if you really want to make a football team, you got to go out there and show that you're good enough to do it. If you want to be a, anything in life, if you want to be a father, you got to go do it. It's just not going to come to you. People's not just going to take care of you if you don't bring some type of enhancement to their lives as a guy. You know, it's like, yeah. The people around Franklin, they don't see his potential. They just, they use him because they get him for cheap because they grew up with him. But the ones that see him as a, what, is a, is something they can benefit from, they see him as a, what, a, a viable option, a, a necessity or a, what, a weapon or, or something useful. They see him as something valuable and when you get when you when people treat you as as something of value you tend to go towards that and when it pays off when they look at you even when they look at you as value you tend to go back to that instead of the ones that didn't value you because i was told that if we helped out with that thing which we did then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a you know it's never that easy did i tell you that you know it's never that easy me you understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying. 
Oh, you're good. The three cunts! Listen. We need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Yep. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. Mm -hmm. The agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds. Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're going to use this money to finance a war on our Excuse streets. Me. And we need you boys to requisition that. Crown money. gives them more work. The bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat downs at the airport before those fucking clowns. It's like, yo. You know, fuck you. Cheap hey, labor. Hey, look, <laughs> Get is, the most done is. for the, the least amount of money and resources. Know. Make it happen, Captain. Like I said, you gotta make yourself useful as a man. They're not always gonna take Classic care of you. Blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block. Tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises, and we're golden. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General. See, Trevor, he just liked to go do it. Thank you, Mike. Mikey. Hey, no Mikey's problem. the brain. No, Trevor's really? the shooter. Or the two. Mikey the one. Travis the two, and you know, Franklin the three. Right, Conference guys, call. Three way. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. Garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back to the lot. And there's an auto repair place right at the here. airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. Way That's better than Lamar, y'all. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder. Bite me. You ain't paying attention. Like, I don't want to listen to you. I don't want to listen to you. That's the closest one. So let's go ahead and knock out this closest one. Hey, man. Get out. Just get out. We're not trying to hurt y'all. Just get out. Oh, man. Can we get out of here? Oh, he coming back this way. Oh, come on. Come on. Do me justice. Do me justice. Nope. He saw he saw the kid. Oh no, we did it. Woo! Woo, we did it. Barely. Barely did it. Alright man, we made it out of here, man. Definitely made it out of here. Let's deliver this truck. And that's just one part of the setup. All right, let's go ahead and deliver this. They even gave us a nice little, little, little safe place. Let's go. Trash trucks complete. Sanitation trucks there now, so don't you bother. That boy went all the way home. That boy went all the way home. All right, shit, it's time to go. Just join your big old house with no company. You'll be alright. Still the tow truck. Let's see, we just 
knock him on out. <laughs> Just knock him on out. Shoot, that's crazy, y'all. We still in the tow truck. These are tow trucks. They steal our cars, but we still in the tow truck. <laughs> I just leave my car there. We knocked them out. We knocked them out this time. We ain't gonna leave no witnesses this time. We knocked him out. I let the other folks live, but that one we just knocked them out cold. Cause by now, Lamar would have had this place going crazy. Lamar would have had gunshots everywhere. It would have been. It would have been. Me trying to survive and try to make it out alive and trying to make sure they get out crazy and Franklin trying to keep a cool head. He were hanging with these these big boys, you know these big sharks out here instead of little fish. So all he gotta do is just do what he do, and as long as he do what he do great, he ain't gotta worry about nothing because the planning is there. All he gotta do is execute the plan. It sounds like a good game plan. You feel me? Like football, basketball. You execute the game plan. You got the athletes in the in the right skill positions, and you gonna come out with a victory. And that's what Franklin is. He's on the right team, and that's why he feels a part. He feels a part of a team, even though they got their issues. Every team has their issues, but he just feels like he feels like he's a part of a team. That his his skills and talents can be what utilized. And you see, he's jumped to it. He don't complain. He just do his job and go because they pay well. You feel me? They pay well, and everything is planned out well. It's like having a good job with a good boss, with a good team. You don't like when your boss get promoted. You're like, man, why my boss get promoted? Trevor, just, not Trevor, but um, Franklin is just out here doing what he do. Boosting cars. He was doing it for what? For Simeon, right? Boosting cars for Simeon. And Simeon wasn't paying him nothing. What he got? Employee of the month. <laughs> You know, they dropped 60k in his account for no reason. You feel me? So, I mean, it's who you know. The right job. It's always the right job to utilize your talents in the right place, man. Be around the right people that can utilize you in the right place. Utilize your skills better. Sometimes loyalty will cost you. You feel me? Sometimes loyalty will definitely cost you. Being loyal to the wrong people that don't go towards your goal or your or where you trying to go in life, it will cost you. Gotta call that conference call. Hey, the tow truck's at the lot, dog. Ready Let to the go. boys know. You feel me? Let the boys know. You at home too. Are oh, you just sleep? What are you screaming for? What are you screaming for? What in the world are you screaming? Dang, the wedding pictures and everything on the ground now. <sighs> you miss your woman. I understand. Franklin, Mike, remember we still need to set up the getaway car. Find one, take it somewhere secluded and call and say where it is. Okay. You say you ain't miss your woman, but you got the pictures everywhere. What in the world? He ain't flies. Your girl's room. She took all her stuff, Mikey. She took all her clothes, everything. She got a big old vanity mirror. Whoa! They blasty blast someone outside. He took what? Left pizza. <laughs> he left it like, man, you can take this pizza, bro. I don't care about this. He took his computer, took his game system. He left the TV though. They really left. They really moved out. They always just leave you, man, when you feel when they don't feel like they can do what they've been doing. But after a while, they're gonna realize what they missing out on. Like you gonna realize what you missing out on, Mikey. You never know what you had until it's gone, my guy. You really don't. It don't make the heart grow fonder. It just you just realize what you had. People usually just need breaks, but you don't need a break. You just you just gotta understand that you never gonna have your way. You're just not gonna always just have the way that you want it to be. You just not. You always gotta compromise somewhere, and if you don't compromise, your life's gonna be too hectic. 
it's crazy right if you don't compromise the things that you want to do in life that your life gets too hectic by getting what you want too much it's like the resistance in life makes it better the struggle of life actually earning stuff makes it better you appreciate it more Alright, what color should we get y'all? The navy blue them. Okay. Find a job you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Alright, we got the three boiler suits. Leave ammunition. It's crazy, it's called ammunition, but ammunition, that's kinda clever. Trevor, why are you always somewhere found in the ditch, drunk and passed out, my guy? And he drunk. <laughs> There's no point in taking the car. No, Trevor, you gotta walk this off, little. You're gonna have to learn. Hey, Whoa. Finally, 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 sobered up. By three masks. No mask, mask, pig mask, dark pig mask. Let's go with these carnival masks. You and that mask are a perfect match. Let's go with these carnival masks. Just to say, I got us some headgear for this masquerade balls up. I'm not looking. What happened to American mainstream movie making? I think we got to do Trevor's heist first. So let's go ahead and head to Trevor's heist. They made me do Trevor heist first, not the big boys. But we handled all the big boy stuff before we did this heist, so we can just have them back to back, ready to go. Oh, we really got the we got the apartment, y'all. We definitely at the apartment. Hopefully, hopefully his girl don't go home. Hopefully his girl don't go home. Hey, bro, what's oh, up? Hey, bro, you're late. Nine years fucking late. You know, you're so late, in fact, that you have no right to call me. Bro, is that clear? Ah, uh, shut the fuck up. You're like I mean, a that place is destroyed. Oh, yeah? Well, you're like a shit. Exactly like a shit. Where's the assistant? On his way. <sighs> Yo! Yo, Frankie, we were just talking about you. Ah, oh, nattering. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever, man. So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. Taking a score. Yeah. Done oh, most of the man. Planning, and uh, I think we're going to literally make out like bandits on this. Did you talk to Lester? Yeah, yeah, I called him. It's apparently he's in the hospital having his vagina cleaned or some shit. He's got a wasting disease. 20% saved. No, that's not how we work. Well, you'll forgive me, but that's how we're gonna work this time, all right? We're doing it my way because as I your remember, way. Last time see, we did it your way. We all got shot at. You got buried. Uh, it was a setup. Turned into a twat, and Brad ended up in a fucking prison. Uh, yeah, he has yeah, no idea. Lester told us not to do that job, but we did it anyway. And Lester seems pretty good, man. Would you shut the fuck up, all right? And you, Michael, owe me. Which part is easy, though? Oh, for fuck, where'd you get the pussy, Mikey? Mm. Fuck you. Ah, better. I like that. Fuck you. Good. Good. All right. Now let's go make So passion. Show that really you care. Good. Don't be a dick. Oh, your wish is my commando, master. Let's go, Junior. Hey, wait. Get Michael a wetsuit or I take him to the boat. Oh. I'm dropping you on the port city side of the Miriam Turner overpass, all right? All right. <laughs> Almost forgot. Here's the rifle with a the thermal scope. Almost Terrible. Like I, I was kind of sold on like a well organized job. Nah. Out with Lester's weird eye for detail. It's like Lamar. I got an eye for detail. It's like Good Lamar. Details like your brick of blow being dry. You should be. Uh, okay, man. I'm grateful for that. Dog. You should be experienced with have done plans with Lamar. Container ship into a harbor. And I really kid. It's all about what's inside. Cool. So what's the thing, man? I don't know what it is, but I know it's important. 
So it's got to be valuable, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter because your job is not to understand. It's to shoot at people. Yeah, and try to stop don't understand. Them. Just know what you got to do. Me, I have I need to understand what I'm getting myself to. That means that means thoroughly. I need to understand the game plan, I need to understand what I need to do. I understand what the other people have to do. I just need to understand, like totally know, like through and through, like thoroughly, you know, comprehend the entire plan. And a lot of people, they just, just, just tell me what to do, I do it. Nah. Stop the car in the median here. Get out, find your spot on the side of the bridge and call Michael. Okay, let's call Mikey. Hey, dog, I'm in position. Let me know when you're ready. F, I'm in position. Damn, that's a long way up. So make sure I don't run into any trouble when I get there. Fucking Trevor. All right, yeah. I got you, homie. Hey, man. Everybody get a chance to lead. And when you give her a bad chance to lead, you got to deal with the nonsense. Look out for me while I do it. I did, First my guy. Bomb, ready to go. I'm moving up to position two. Hey, you got a clear path. Plant the bomb. I'm going. Boy, chill. Here's the door. Going in. Go in, my guy. I'm not gonna screw around in here, all right? Just tell me when you planted it. Oh shit! What you mean? I'll take out as many as I can from around the side of the ship. Bro. You playing that charge, my guy? Whoa. Whoa. Hey, man, prove yourself, Frank. Prove yourself, Frank. I see you. Where? Oh, man. That was embarrassing. Whoa, they definitely are. You're clear. I'm making a run for the north side. This is it. Run, Forrest, run. Shit, shit, I'm clear. You can blow the charges. That's uh, on your cell, man. Get away from the ship. They going up. Where's the detonator? What are you waiting for? Hey, man, I had to find it. I had to find it. Chill. We did. Where, where is where is the boy? Where is the planner? Where is Trevor? You know we did his work, but he's nowhere to be found. He just want to be the boss. Just want to do the work. Just want to call the shots and don't want to be part of none of the dirty work. A lot of people are like that, y'all. They'll plan something and be nowhere near part of the dirty work. That must be it. I got it. They're like a bomb. So, you uh, am I done down here? Yeah, you're done. Team's meeting at Pier 400 for a debrief. Pier 400 debrief. Here I am. Let's go. That went off kind of well. A little bad shooting, but it's all good.
They're like, come on, man. What we take this? What we take this for? Hey, man. Sloppy though. What is it? Less the found them. I should be. I would be if certain known associates weren't busy making themselves enemies of the state. Dang. Less the found them. You can fuck with them all day long. But when you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is going to be fucked in the ass, you fucking chumps. Oh, wow. Lester oh, had to come save the operation. The Chinese, what? See? What do you think is in there? Don't even know all the information. You got to know all the information. All right, man. So what now? Well, maybe I can organize oh, come on, Lester. Do you have any idea what you did here? Yeah. No, you don't. What do you he don't know what nothing what he just did. He just that see dollar signs, y'all. Yo. Then we will all end up on every watch list in the entire planet. Watch list? So fucking People watch. do anything for a dollar. Watch. They kill. Idiot. We'll all be dead within a week. Think. No, the people don't think. They just see Listen. green. <laughs> they see money. Take the truck. Take a guy. They just see do money. What you gotta do. So you mean to tell me this shit was all for nothing? Man, it's the hood all over again. See? Fuck. That's what, that's what happens when you mess with folks that don't plan nothing. You owe me, Michael. I am owed. What you gonna do, huh? I think it's something. I gotta get Franklin some work too. I'll take it. He don't wanna just lose Franklin, his best, his best, his best employee. <laughs> yeah, you messed up. You know you messed up. You know you messed up. When you know you messed up, you get angry. But when you didn't, when you know you didn't mess up. You you okay with the results? You're like, man, I ain't mess up. Things just didn't go my way. You know for a fact that you did everything in your power right, and the information that you told people was correct. There's nothing they can say. There's nothing they can say. But when you go out here and just wing it, and don't do your research, and don't spend the time to actually make sure that your information is correct or at least accurate. They don't have to be correct, but accurate. Because sometimes it can be misaccurate in some plots, but most of the time it can be accurate. When you make, when you don't want to have accurate information, things go crazy. It go crazy. Nukes. Man, that dude is loco. He is loco. He is loco. Frankly, you starting to understand. You you dealing with some major people here, man. You ain't just dealing with Lamar. That's just, you know, irresponsible and don't know what he actually doing. You dealing with some folks that go after major stuff. That's why the pay is so good, my guy. That's you know, right major players out here, man. But that's why you have to deal with the ones with the plan. You got to deal with the ones with the plan out here, my guy. Not the ones without a plan. Oh, just crash stroke bite. Not, not the ones without the plan. You can tell when people just wing it, and they just try to think of stuff on the fly you then you can tell the folks that actually thought things all the way through they have a they have an answer for every solution you feel me meaning they don't think they're right all the time they just come up with the solutions because they did the research you know what i mean when you do the research and you do the work the solutions come folks think you always right no i don't think i'm always right and that's one thing about about lester he don't think he's right he just came up he did the work and when you do the work, when things pop up, you'll be able to come up with answers. And that's what men are hired for. Men are around to like, come up with answers. You play quarterback to answer another team's score. You come with answers to go score the ball. That's what we were made to do is to come up with answers. We're not supposed to be like, well, I don't know. Well, you think you know everything? I don't think I know everything. I just know how to come up with the right answer. This world is funny, y'all. This world is funny. They praise those that can't come up with answers, but then when you come up with answers, they be like, you think you know everything. Crazy. It's craziness. Craziness. A little cigar. Okay. Can this be a getaway car? Take it right in front of the house. To get right out of someone's front yard, yo. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Right out of someone's front yard. 
I was wondering why I keep saying you can't use this, you can't use this. So I could have did the big heist first, y'all, but my myself, <laughs> myself, you forgot I had to take a car. It's called Grand Theft Auto for a reason, right? You gotta take a car. It's too public. Ah, uh, alright. My B. <laughs> My B. It's too public. Can't we can't put it in the public eye, huh? See? You can put it here. You can put it here. Let's go. We got a getaway car stashed and ready to go. Cool, dog. See it. Where is it at? Strawberry. Strawberry, man. Strawberry. Calling Steve. What's up, Steve? You ready to do this? Yep. We got everything we need. Okay. So what? move already. Yo, when you get the stuff, that? bring it to Devin Weston. You met him at our internal rendition site. He's a major player in the investment world, so treat him with respect. I'll show him as much respect as a friend of yours deserves. Exactly. Franklin love going back home, man. He's like, ain't no place like home. <laughs> he like, it is no place like home. We're gonna go see my boy before we head out. Chop, what you been eating? I gotta get a regimen for your ass. Boy, chop. Dang, my guy. Chop, boy. That's a lot, lot of uh, waste, my guy. It's a lot of waste, chop. Franklin just out there living a the life right now, y'all. <laughs> He's just like every time he get a chance, he going right back to the crew. Sometimes life just seems a little too real, you know. Life does seem a little too real sometimes, man. Sometimes life does not feel real at all. It really feels fake. It just feels like it's playing sometimes. It's just like I don't know, man. The way I see life, it just feels different, man. It's like. It's almost like people put on a front or act all the time. It's like it's like a big movie, and it, it's not really organic. It really feels scripted sometimes. Like it's planned out. Like your life is really planned out. The game should be here. Now let's get it. Oh, it's Mikey right there. What's cracking? What's here? Right there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. All right. Hey, so let's sit up. Here's the plan. Now watch how this go compared to what the last one went. Yeah. Crazy, you right? Position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in a tow truck. Hope is they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, true to professional, dog. And at see? least wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, you bought him. You bought him. Trevor, you bought the mask, my guy. Real professional. Carnival mask, baby. Let's get it. Halloween <laughs> next month. <laughs> Halloween next month. Let's do this. Go to Cypress Flats. What we got? Right, I'm in position. Lady Let's crossing the street. Yeah. Just a second. There they are, incoming. Get ready to do your thing. Michael, you better get on your way. I'm stopped. You're on, Ed. Let's get it. Let's 
Sanitation aren't meant to be here today. Hey man, I got these motherfuckers. We're really about to use you as the guinea pig. Ram the truck. Let's ram the truck. Oh. Oh. You know what happened to the last security guards, right? The cops will be swarming here in 10 seconds. You better run. Shut the fuck up. Come on. Good to go. You hear all them sirens, dog? Fuck's right here. This is going to be crazy. Boy. Oh. Oh, reload, player. There's more dudes in front of you. Hey, I got these dudes. I dropped that fucking cop. Oh, way over here. Visual on the snipers, they're going down. Shooter one is down. Yeah, that's some tight ass run. How long you call on me? Rooftop is clear of shoot. Whoa, I missed it. Boom. We got one star. Moron. He <laughs> called you a moron. Alright, man. Let's get to the getaway car. Plan. Everybody in the right location. Wasn't hectic. Everybody was doing what they supposed to do. See, when, when it's planned out and you got the right people in the right location, eh, everything goes well. And that's what Franklin likes. You feel me? That's what Franklin likes. He don't like that Lamar, Trevor planning type of stuff, man. Don't. And when things are like that, he's down to do more work for you. And then you got you a, a hired gun. And when you got someone skilled and talented and put him in the right locations, it makes you, it makes the makes the your game plan and your job go by smoothly, man. And when the more jobs you get, the more jobs that you get to go smoothly, and the more you make yourself a dependable worker. Hey, the more you make your name for yourself, and hey, your your name does the work. You don't just have to try. Out. Like, oh, we know he do quality work. Quality speaks for itself. The quality starts to speak for itself. Put too many on there though. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Get away from the truck. Everything cool? Yeah, man. Shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice Made trash truck. out of the trash I'm truck, baby. Meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Bet, boy. Appreciate that, my guy. Oh, you got that kind of quick. These boys out here doing major work. You feel me? Let Trevor do all the chaotic stuff and they handled all the big boy stuff. When I say the big boy stuff, the details. Because Trevor with details, it's not really a good look. <laughs> Trevor with details, it's not a good look, man. It's not a good look. Boy, they got security, got security. Package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Oh, you gonna let us in? They got security at the door with a gate. Devin Weston. I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here. Nah, man. It's, it's always more. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Some dude, I want you. I want your crew. I want oh, on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what man. you want. Pencil Gone man. in 60 seconds. <laughs> I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? And it's name your poison, man. I just like sitting around yeah. watching old movies. Oh, security guys on security. Well, how about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. 
Solomon Richards, the movie producer. I will make the connect just as soon as you. See, do something for me. I do something for you. Right. Oh man, Solomon Richards. Hey man, it sounds too good to be true, Mikey. It is. It always sounds too good to be true. Good 